In my mind, there are three different methods for lateral pelvic tilting, otherwise known as just lifting your hips up and down, side to side. We can talk about that at a later time. Today, we're going to work on two of those. So we're going to use our glutes for a smaller, more precise lateral tilt, and then we're going to use our obliques for an accent at the end. Okay, so starting, we're going to face the mirror, and we're going to work on our foot pattern first. We're going to start off with the right foot, and you're going to do a chasse. So it's right, left, right, hold, left, right, left, hold, right, left, right, hold, left, right, left, hold. On top of that, you're going to add a, a, a twist, like that stretch where you bring your knee over your body, so your rib cage is tilting to the left, and your lower body is tilting to the right, and then we're going to reverse it. So it's right, left, right, twist, left, right, left, twist, right, left, right, twist, left, right, left, twist. You can try it going back too. Good. And on top of that, we're going to add our tilts. So we're going to go left glute, right glute, left glute, right glute, and then we're going to contract with our obliques, bringing our left hip up. No glute contraction. And then we're going to do a right glute, left glute, right glute, left glute, and bring the right side up using your obliques, lifting that hip up. Okay? So it's left, right, left, right, oblique, glute, 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 oblique, glute, 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 oblique, glute, 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 oblique. Now we're going to combine the two together. So moving forward, you're going to step right, left, right, up, left, right, left, up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try it again. So starting right away, it's left glute, right glute, left glute, right glute, left, up. Adding that little twist in. Good. I like to do this movement with finger symbols. If this is too much for you or you haven't ever done finger symbols before, just forget about it and focus on the movement. But in my mind, it helps punctuate the movement a little bit more. To break down the pattern really quickly, we're going to do fives alternating with the together at the end. So it's going to be right, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, right, together. And that goes perfectly with Isam Hushan's track five on Dancing Drum Volume 2. Let's try it. So listening to the music, it's syncopated. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Adding the symbols. Good. I would recommend really get to the whole song. Have fun. 